the other way to do this, the partial quotient, is it looks like the traditional division. The only difference is you're stacking the values based on their place value. So we start by doing how many times does 2 fit into 200, since this 2 is in the hundreds place. So what times 2 equals 200? Well, 100 times 2 equals 200. So then we do, the only difference is how it looks up here. So then we go ahead and we multiply 100 times 2 is 200. We subtract, we get 93. Then you go down and you say, what times 2 is close to 90? So 2 times 40 would give us 80. Subtract, 13. So the traditional way, we would have just written 1 and 4 here. But instead, we're now breaking it up by the place value. What times 2 is close to 13? Well, we know 2 times 6 is 12. And 2 times 7 would be 14, so that'd be too big. So we're going to do 2 times 6 equals 12, and then subtract. Down here is our remainder, so we have remainder 1. And to get the quotient, or the answer to the division problem, you add up these numbers. So 146. So our answer is 146 remainder 1.